And welcome back to the hotline. We are talking WRC Fallout Finland and what a rally meeting that was all the way from the opening on Thursday to the closing of Sunday. Action aplenty. Sometimes you did not know where to look and I'm to the point I think I actually felt a bit sorry for the commentators but it's by the by now because Hyundai ended up delivering what was a crushing blow to Toyota. Major changes in the standings, which we'll get into. But it was only Terry Neuville that extended his lead in the World Championship title race. And really, really good for Hyundai. They will be smiling. But it looked like they weren't smiling. It was Toyota dominance all around. And in the end, it very much wasn't Toyota dominance all around. So before the Finland weekend, as you know, Nouvel had an eight-point lead over his teammate, Bart Tanak, with Toyota's Elvin Evans trailing by, you know, a baker's dozen. Unlucky for some, 13. But Tanak and Evans, they both failed to score any points. Tanak crashed out heavily on Friday, while Evans crashed on Sunday and had to retire on what was the penultimate special stage. Someone else retired as well. We're getting to both of them. But Nouvel finished second in the end after looking like he was going to be off the podium, earning 23 points. Only the rally winner, a certain Seb Oje, collected more points with a total of 24. Now, Oje has also moved ahead of both Tanak and Evans in the championship standings, and that's despite missing three rallies this season. Oje is 27. Yep, you heard it. The part-time former champion, 27 points behind Neuville with four rounds remaining this season. And it remains to be seen whether OJ will compete. We'll get into that in a minute as again. Again, but Tanak, who has dropped a third in the standings, he's now 31 points behind Neuville. Evans is 36 points off the lead. And in the Manufacturers Championship, Hyundai has taken a significant lead now over Toyota. And that's despite the situation looking very different on Sunday morning. Toyota's weekend, it completely fell apart on the penultimate stage where both Evans and Roven Pira, well, let's just say they didn't make it to the end of uh, stage 19. And this resulted in Toyota losing Roven Pera's conditional points from Saturday. Remember, the Sunday points, I know they suck, but you have to finish on the Sunday to get those points on the Saturday. Now, additionally, both Roven Perra and Evans were in contention for points on Sunday, looking good. But alas, um, the rally gods were saying no. Hyundai ultimately managed to score 19 points. 19, that's one nine points more than Toyota on the gravel roads of central Finland. And this is a rally where Toyota did, to be fair, look better overall than Hyundai. People were saying it's going to suit the Toyota car more, and it looked like it did, until it didn't. Um, not good at all, but the interesting thing to come out of this is the rumours are OJ is set, potentially, to contest the rest of the 2024 season, and if he does, that does mean very specific things for the rest of the WRC1. So, Rally Finland winner Sebastian Oja, he's admitted that the outcome of the event means committing to the rest of the World Rally Championship is probably inevitable, as he said. So he's, he hasn't completed full-time since 2021, but the prospect of him gunning what would be a ninth world title has been a consistent talking point because he's done so well. And now he's in he's second of the championship. I mean, he's second. Now, having missed three rallies, Sweden, Safari, and Poland, of the nine held so far, OJ has essentially found himself in the title fight accidentally. This is something no one ever thought. And spare a thought then for Toyota's two full-time drivers in Evans and Katsuta. Embarrassing? Yes, I think. Definitely. Now, both of them have had their share, a fair share of bad luck, but you make your own luck. Katsuta has a could have, for example, go the, all the way back, all the way back, far back in Sweden. Could have had a much better rally. He didn't. He crashed out. Evans potentially could have had a fa fairly decent rally in Finland. He crashed out. But his mission this season, though, was to always help, and that's OJ's mission uh, to help Toyota win that manufacturer's championship. But with Otanek and Elvin Evans both crashing out and scoring nil point, OJ now finds himself as Neuville, Neuville's nearest rival. Now, after securing what was his 61st career victory and second in Finland, yeah, not really, he's not a favourite of his, is it, Finland, as we saw on the preview show. So, well done, OJ. But he suggested he would commit 
to the four remaining events as he is now Toyota's leading contender in the Drivers' Championship. He said himself, I have to see, but it looks like I have no other option. Toyota team principal at Bala told Dirtfish after Rally Latvia four nights ago that he would speak to Ojo to see if he can get him to commit for the rest of the season. The idea hasn't changed, nothing official yet. But, and as I said, this is going to change a few things in the top echelons of the rally world. Why, I hear you ask. Okay, Ot Tanak, th over 30 or 31 points now behind Neuville. If OJ commits full-time, are they then going to turn to Ot Tanak and say, sorry, mate, team orders, you're going to have to help Neuville because we're up against one of the best of all time. Yes, possibly. But even more so for Toyota's Evans and Katsuta, are they now going to have to go team orders all in to help OJ win and this is remember a team where we all thought Evans was the Evans was the man he was the Toyota star going into this year after finishing second I think against Cali last year we all thought yeah he's gonna win it but um Terry Neuville at uh, massive form Ottanic big mistakes at the beginning of the year but then showed us how good he really is and but then you have the two part-time people both Cali Roven Perra and OJ winning Evans hasn't won one. Katsuta hasn't won one. Neuville has only won one. I mean, you know, Lappi's won one as well for Hyundai. So it's a really interesting championship. Yes, we will get, uh, not today, but we will get again into those controversial point Sundays. But still, I don't, it's, it, it's something, it's most certainly something that we can't really, really ignore if I'm honest. So let's have a look then at um, Cali Roven period's crash now, shall we? Here it is, in all its form. Okay, so let's press play, and you can see there. I'm going to put the mouse here. There's a mass. I mean, there's about three of them. There's a big stone that Raven Perry is essentially going to go over. Um, just we, we're talking 30 seconds from the end of stage 19. A man that's never won is he's never won Rally Finland, and he goes over, and you can see it jumps. And he just spins, and then obviously the camera's like, Bleh! but there we go, and into into the into the gravel, and into the woods, into the woods we go. Here it is again. Now he he turns. You'll be able to see that massive rock there. There's the rock. Jumps the car, and it just you know puts him on edge, and then nothing. And this is the frustrating thing. Absolutely nothing. Calais Roven Pera could have done to avoid that. Really, really sucks. I feel so sorry for him. Now let's look at. Elvin Evans, shall we? It's just a... Uh, okay, this is the... With, with, it turns... Yeah, this and, and this was the first corner of the rally. This was the first corner of the rally. And he goes and spins it. I mean, you can just see the... He's like, oh my gosh, what have I done? At the, I mean, he's thinking, yeah, I'm okay, but my championship, my championship is over, surely, as he gets out of the car. Now, let's see that again. Um, it's just... It's, I mean, you know, he starts... He starts the rally and it's just, yeah, uh, there we go. He starts the rally and he, I don't know what happened. He just oversteers on it. It's almost like he over, he turns, oversteers a bit, tries to correct it, hits, the, gets into the ditch. And then once that, it's basically a roller coaster and he becomes very much a passenger. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Evans. Oh, Evans. So, we have for Evans' sake. So, we've got um, OJ winning it. 40, 40 seconds down, Terry Neuville. Um, Formo again gets a podium, so well done to him. And Mr. Padrari, it would be a miss if we didn't mention him, um, for his first rally, not as much preparation time as even Sesk finishing fourth. I mean, to finish first, first you have to finish. And it's Oliver Solberg in WRC2 finishing fifth. Uh, yeah. A very, I mean, a very interesting set of circumstances. No doubt we'll probably have our winners and losers a bit later in the week. But I'm going away. So I just wanted to have a quick chat about what was a very entertaining rally. So if you want to see more, give us a subscribe. That will be great. If you want to see more rally content when we come back, we'll be having our winners and losers, etc. We'll speak to you soon. This was the fallout for Rally Finland. Thank <laughs> you.